got bird's eye chilies and chop them up. So good. Fresh red, toasted lightly. So That's simple. delicious. Yeah. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to make a uh, tuna carpaccio. I'm using bluefin tuna, uh, just a baguette. I'm using soy sauce, bird's eye chili and olive oil. It's a very simple dish, you can prepare it in advance. It's really cool for you know dinner parties and things like that. I use bluefin tuna over yellowfin. They're both great fish. I find bluefin is a bit fattier and has a deeper flavor, whereas the yellowfin is a bit lighter in flavor. Uh, especially with this dish, we're going to be putting the soy sauce, which sort of will mask up that uh, fishy flavor if you're not a big fan of it. Let's get started. So first things first, I've put cling film on my chopping board. Uh, you want to lay out a few pieces of fish. I bought this from a local fish shop, so they cut it in sashimi slices, which is what you want anyway. That's where we, how you want to start. And then grab some more cling film, place it over. Okay, get rid of that. And then basically you want to bash your tuna. You can use anything you want. I'm just using a wooden spoon. You can use a rolling pin or whatever you want. You want to get it to a nice, thin, almost clear uh, thickness. Don't be scared that you're gonna, you know, it's gonna fall apart or anything. Just open them right up, nice and thin. Okay, and there you have it. So now we can open this back up. If you want to, um, if you're making a few of these dishes, I'm only making one plate, so this is gonna be enough, but if you're making a few plates worth, then you just fold your cling wrap over and then put your new pieces of sashimi and then close it back and do the same thing again. So carefully place. You can even go thinner than what I've done. Doesn't matter if they break. Just place them in. There you go. Okay. So that's the first step. So next step, you want to get your bread ready. I've got just a fresh baguette from my local bakery. Just really lightly toast these. And then, just wanna prepare your chilies. I use a bird's eye chili. It's um, hot, but it's not super hot. Um, I find like cayenne peppers are a bit too light. They don't have enough chili in them. And one little tip, if you're cleaning chilies like this, I recommend you use a glove. I don't, I didn't, I should have, but um... Too late now. Yeah, it's a bit late now. But yeah, if you uh, end up touching your eyes or your lips or anything, for the rest of the day you sort of start burning and you're always touching your face without realizing anyway. But anyway, all right, so basically you want to Give these like a fine chop. When you cut your chilies, always cut them with the skin side down. You won't like bruise the um, chili itself. You get a much better result. In the meantime, I'm just gonna turn my bread. Now we can put the dish together. So, sprinkle your chili over it. One little tip, always serve your raw fish at room temperature. So maybe leave it out for about an hour, hour and a half before you actually eat it. The room temperature sort of brings out the flavors um, and the fat sort of softens up before you eat it. Okay, soy sauce. Generous on the soy sauce. A 
Okay. And then olive oil. So make sure you're using a good quality olive oil. Like I said, you're using the olive oil sort of to dip your bread in too. So you want to use a nice cold press um, olive oil. Very generous on the olive oil. Trust me on this. Okay. And the bread should be ready. Yeah. Let's do this. 